Hey, welcome to Bible Lane Elementary. On Sunday, we were talking about giving and how much God thinks that it is important to give to people because God wants us to love him with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength and to love our neighbors as ourselves. So we should be giving people because that is what God is. Now, if you're anything like me, you're not great at giving. And, and in fact, we could learn something from a spender who turned into more of a giver. Now, fortunately for you and unfortunately for me, I would definitely consider myself a spender and I have learned three things along the way that can help you maybe avoid the mistakes I've made. So here are three tips for how to give money. Now, if you're anything like me, the moment that you get money, it starts burning a hole in your pocket and you just gotta get rid of it as fast as possible. Actually, you're just kind of always living in a permanent state of having 10 things that you wanna buy at any moment. So my first tip is to start budgeting because you already have a plan for those 10 things that you wanna buy later. Just say, okay, I wanna buy this or that, but I have to make sure that God comes first in this plan. So the first 10% of my money, I'm gonna to give to God and I'm gonna budget for that so that it's going to God first and it's not even getting to me. Number two, take the money out of your account as soon as possible. It kinda of goes with number one, but there are some special ways to do that. I would suggest maybe a piggy savings bank of God, like God's piggy bank, or when you get a little bit older, a savings account where your money goes directly without even going into your own wallet because if it goes goes into your wallet, you're more likely to want to take it out and uh, spend it on yourself. So if you have a savings account that maybe you empty once a year or maybe once a month and you say, all this money I get to go and spend for God, I get to give to people, I get to give to a food shelter or whatever is on your mind at the moment, that is a great way to do it. And it helps you have a little bit more joy when you're giving because you're like, oh, this is gonna go to somewhere where I know has a lot of need and I think God's in it. And so when you spend the money, it's a lot more fun Spending's fun! I love spending so it'll help you. So put in a savings account away from your money just so that you're not even tempted by it. And number three, just start doing it. I always knew that giving was important, but I was like, you know, when I have a job and when I uh, have enough savings and all this stuff, then I'll start giving to God. But the secret is, if I didn't just start saying, okay, you know what, I'm starting to give today, it doesn't matter that I, it's not my ideal, I would have never gotten to the point where I ever gave it all. And so you just start small, no matter what it is. If you can give something back to God at church, or if you can give to a food bank or whatever, even if it's a really small amount, like a dollar, like I started off just being like, okay, I could give this $10 to God right now and it wouldn't really affect me, but I would be giving. It starts the cycle where you just wanna keep giving more and more and more. And so you start small, just giving like a dollar or ten dollars here or there where you can, and then you start making a habit of it. You say, the first ten percent of my money I'm gonna give to God. And then, another secret, apparently you can give away more of your money than ten percent? It's crazy! But those are my three tips. Number one, budget. Number two, make sure that the money that you're setting aside for God never goes into your own account and instead goes into like a God piggy bank or a God savings account. That's the best way to do it. And number three, just start doing it. Start giving now because if you don't, you'll never get to the goal where you're like, okay, now it's time for me to give because I feel safe about it. You're never gonna feel safe about it. You just gotta start doing it because it's a God thing and it's what you wanna do in your heart. So those are my tips. If you have other tips, let me know down in the comments below. As always, you can click right there to subscribe or click right there to find other videos that can help you get a little bit closer to God. Thanks for checking out Bible Main Elementary and I will see you guys later. Ready, one, two, three, whoa.